Hey guys, so we're here at Fremont and we have four different board sizes. Lance and I have been reading a lot of the comments. You guys are asking a ton of questions about what size of board should I ride? What if my board was bigger? What if my board was smaller? What if my board was this, my board was that, my board was this, the other thing? And I always just go to the end result of it's your personal preference. So if you like a bigger board, then skate a bigger board. If you like a smaller board, skate a smaller board. But I, I figured I would make a video to try and answer some of your questions that we have been seeing in the comments because there's been like a thousand questions. So I'm going to go through these sizes real fast. 775. This is what I've been skating. It's a 775. Um, pretty, it's pretty skinny actually. This is an 8. Um, this is Lance's deck. So you can see there's just a very small difference between those actually. 7758. And then this is what, an 838? I believe this is an 838. It's a little bit bigger. And then this is the biggest board we could find here. It's a 9. So there you go. You can see the difference. 775, 8, 838, 9. So if you're learning how to skate and do kick flips and tray flips, etc., you can do all of those tricks on any of these boards. Now, if you're like five feet tall and you go straight to this board, there's a lot more weight and a lot more mass. So it's going to be a little bit harder to kickflip just because it's going to take more pressure. Now, with that being said, it's a lot easier to land on too. It's a lot easier to land on because it's a lot wider, whereas this one is really skinny. So if you have small feet, it's going to be easier to flip, but again, still harder to land on. So personally, I'm skating the 775, which a lot of people think, Aaron, you're crazy to skate a 775. You should skate an 8. And I'm actually highly considering skating an 8 because there is more room to land on. Even though it's a very small amount, it makes kind of a, a big difference. So I'm going to go through these real fast and do a couple tricks on all of them and kind of just compare them and hopefully answer all of your questions that you guys will have in the comments or have had in the comments, I should say. Okay, first trick, kickflip 775. Whoa. That's my own board, by the way. <laughs> it brings up a good point, though. You know, my feet were off. And there's not a lot of room to land on. Sorry, I left you hanging, Ricardo. There's a skinny board. Not a lot of room to land on, but then again, it, it does flip very fast. So, I guess we should compare a kickflip and a double flip. So, it does flip fast. Now we're going to go to the 8. This is Lance's board. Uh, the flip was a little slower, right? A little bit slower. Uh, rebate, I don't know. But, you know, when I ride this board, I go, wow, there's a lot of room to land on. Whereas my board, like, you literally have to land perfect or you're not going to make it. Uh, so, harder to spin, but not, like, not impossible. Wow, 838. This is a stairs board, that's for sure. Slower, but still, still workable, you know. And uh, still, I can double flip it. This one might be harder. This is straight up nine. It's also the shape of this is different. So this is, I don't know, all these are rad boards. They're kind of used for different things, really. But I can still kickflip it. Actually seemed easier than <laughs> to kickflip this than it was the nine. Uh, first try double flip, let's try. Oh! Clean. I actually think I should just move to skating a nine. So Lance wants me to tray flip each one. So we'll start with the biggest one. Tray flip the nine. It's a little hard to tray flip. 
is definitely the amount of effort it takes my feet to flip it and push it around is more. Now, if you were gonna be skating a bowl or stairs, you're definitely more safer, more safer, if is that even a word, on this bigger one. Ah, so that's a nine. Now let's peep the 838. Whoa. Yeah, here we Beast, big and slow. It's like, it's like I was moving through sandy water. Okay, that's 838. You got it, man. Uh, 775. It's like when I move back to my own board, I can't even skate it. Okay, 775, here we go. Well, here's a real test after skating the nine. 360 double flip. Got it. So, you know, after skating all of those, I, I actually think I'm gonna switch to an eight. Like legitimate, an eight inch board. Um, I kinda wanna do one more test with all of them. So Ollie the five stair test. Should we do that? Okay, so we're gonna start out with the seven, seven, five, then the eight, then the eight, three, eight, or whatever it is, and then the nine. So it's the Ollie the five stair. Uh, really, nobody would skate stairs. Very few people skate stairs with a 775. It's just small. There's not a lot of room to land on. Whatever. But for me, the, the 775 is my board, so it's the most comfortable. Now I'm going in on the 8. Definitely feels like I have more room. So now we're going in on the 838. I'm kind of nervous about the tail, it's kind of razor tailed. Whoa! That one actually felt really comfortable. There's so much space to land on. The trucks are way tighter than I would ever use though. That's what made that one harder. Now this is the nine, and the trucks are super loose, which I love. This is, I'm just, you know, I'm thinking of legitimately switching to a nine. So that definitely, I had a lot of room to land on the board, that's for sure. And yeah, it definitely feels heavier, which made it a little bit harder on the lift off. But yeah, it's cool. So this board would be really, really good for skating ramps and various things like that, and also good for skating street. Like I said before, it really comes down to personal preference. Most of the questions we get are like, my shoe size is eight. What size of board should I ride? And there's not a, like a universal, this is your shoe size, this is what your board size is. It's personal preference is really what it comes down to. I have a size 10 shoe and I'm skating a 775 and I'm probably gonna move to an eight. That gives you guys a gauge, I guess. But really in the end, I like to do flip tricks. I like to do double flips. So I like a skinnier board. If you like to skate tranny, you might wanna skate at 8.5. Take it up to a nine. Look at this thing, it's beast. So I hope that answered some of your guys' questions. I really want to make videos that address what you guys want to know. So I hope this was one of them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one more last tray flip on this. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Let us know in the comments if this answers your questions or if you guys have more. Oh. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.